Well, it's good to have you with me um, today on Wednesday the 30th of November, the last day of November of course. We move into December tomorrow, so presumably all of our Advent calendars will be um, coming out of wherever they come out from. Uh, and um, yeah, I hope you well. And um, today it's St Andrew's Day. Um, so we'll be praying for um, all, and we're asked to pray for all churches called St Andrews. Uh, so that's good. We'll pray for St Andrews in Taunton, of course, led by uh, their vicar, Robin Lodge. Uh, and um, there are many other things for us to pray for too, um, of course, uh, during this season of Advent, in our own lives, in the church and in our wider communities and the world. So let's um, turn to our prayers as always um, the order of service is in the link provided or if you've got the free daily prayer app then you can follow it on there O Lord open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise reveal among us the light of your presence that we may behold your power and glory blessed are you sovereign God of all to you be praise and glory forever in your tender compassion the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. We rejoice in the gift of this new day. So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Let's go to Psalm 47. Clap your hands together, all you peoples. O sing to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared. He is the great King over all the earth. He subdued the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He has chosen our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a merry noise, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. O oh, sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God has taken his seat upon his holy throne. The nobles of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. The powers of the earth belong to God and he is very highly exalted. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Well, it looks as though on this St Andrew's Day we're taking a break from our normal uh, Revelation reading. We're working through Revelation every day, but uh, today it's John uh, chapter 12 and um, an account of uh, Andrew. Now, among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and sold, told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and it dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honour. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. Well, 
Well, let's turn to our prayers of intercession as we pray for the church, the world and the day before us. Heavenly Father, we do thank you today for St Andrew, for his willingness to follow you, to follow your son, Jesus Christ. Help us, Lord, in the same spirit to be willing to call you Lord and Master, to follow faithfully. We know that St Andrew ultimately was willing to go and share the gospel and to suffer death for his faith's sake. So Lord, help us to be courageous like Andrew. And during this season of Advent, as we watch and wait for the coming of your kingdom, help us to go about doing your work so that when you do come again, the world will be waiting, that we will be ready. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we do thank you for our churches at Staple Grove and at Norton Fitzwarren. We do pray for unity together. We thank you, Lord, for all the activities and events that we have planned for the Advent season, for our messy church on Saturday. Lord, we do pray for people to come to that. We thank you for the well, a large increase in the number of people who came to the last messy church. And Lord, we do pray for all the preparations for that Christingle on Saturday. We pray for our Advent course sessions beginning this evening. For all of our services and preparations during the next few weeks. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we do pray for the wider Christian community across our town and for Christians of all denominations. And Lord, especially today, we pray for St Andrews in Taunton with uh, Robin Lodge and the community there. Especially, I know they've been struggling with their uh, lack of heating recently. I don't know what the latest is there, Lord, but we do lift that to you. And pray for that community at uh, this Advent. Lord, we recognise the place that they have in a very prominent location. And all the work they do in liaison with their, their community centre at St Andrews and their school and in other ways. So Lord, we do pray that you would bless them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, today we pray for our schools, thanking you for the work that took place yesterday at Norton in the, uh, the Values Day, the Ethos Day, looking at Jesus, the Good Shepherd. And Lord, we thank you for all the enthusiastic work being done by all the classes as they explored that theme. And Lord, we do pray today for uh, the the Advent worship at Staple Grove School. Pray equally that that will go well and that it will be a time when we can all reflect and engage with you. Lord, we continue to pray for our schools, particularly as they lead up to, uh, to the Christmas season with uh, performances and services and so on and all the preparations being made. Lord, we thank you that the acorns at Norton are coming to celebrate with us on Monday and that uh, we've got services lined up over at Staple Grove too. And Lord, we pray that all of these occasions will be a, an opportunity to share the good news of the birth of Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, I do pray for those individuals who are suffering in body, mind or spirit. 
Lord, I pray for those who are hospitalised, those who are nearing death, as well as for those who support these people. So we do pray for uh, Lynn and Pete as they look after her father and mother, for the friends and families of, uh, of Neville and of Joyce, of Barbara and of Derek, that you would grant them the gift of faith and strength. And Lord, we pray for those who are mourning the loss of loved ones recently, particularly the friends and families of Jack Maven, of Wendy Woodward and of Betty Partridge. Lord, we do pray for the meeting uh, this morning to prepare the funeral service for Betty. Pray that your Holy Spirit would be with us and that we can make sure that that's a fitting uh, send off for her. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we do pray for the day that lies ahead of us today. Pray that your Holy Spirit will go before us, that we may follow you as Andrew followed you, that we may be ready to give up our own agendas and our own plans and intentions, to be alive and alert to your Spirit. So, Almighty God, who gave such grace to your Apostle St Andrew, that he readily obeyed the call of your Son Jesus Christ and brought his brother with him, call us by your holy word and give us grace to follow you without delay to tell the good news of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And may the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good to have you uh, with me. Um, I hope you have a great day uh, or however much of the day is left if you're watching on uh, Catch Up. Uh, don't forget to come to the Advent course session this evening if you're able to, 7.30 at Staple Grove. Um, it won't last longer than half an hour. Reflective, contemplative uh, time uh, and um, we hope it'll be part of people's um, devotional preparation for Christmas uh, and um, yeah, hope you can make it. Take care.